it with your dude. 200 on the dash and I'm flying in the coupe. Passenger seat and it could have been you. Now every time they hear my name, they be like, who? Souffle Tay, rockin' Cartier. Chew on the mic like a mic buffet. What's up guys, it's Akira, and in today's video, I have a hair review for you guys. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up and comment down below, and let's just get started. So the hair that you saw me modeling at the beginning and the hair I'm wearing right now is from V Show Hair, which is an AliExpress company. They emailed me and reached out and asked if I wanted to review some of their hair. But mind you, this is not a paid review, so I'm not being paid to like say anything in this video. It's just my 100% honest opinion of the hair. Anyways, they sent me four bundles of 24 inch Peruvian straight hair and one 20 inch frontal. So what I did with the hair is I turned it into a wig as you can kind of see. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, it could be a sew in, you know. Never know, but yeah, it's a wig. So I'm just gonna show you guys the process of everything I did to the hair right about now. Okay guys, so I just sewed all this hair into a wig and you can see because I'm wearing it right now. It looks funny because the lace isn't cut off, so I'm gonna do that. But I just wanted to show you guys how the wig look all by itself before like manipulating it or doing anything really. So. The hair is freshly washed and I air dried it. Um, what else did I do? Yeah, and then I just sewed the hair on. Oh, but before I um, sewed it on stuff like that, I also bleached the knot from the frontal, which is why you can kind of see the hair is like kind of light right here. It's because I over bleached it. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like go back and like dye the roots with like black or dark brown dye. like. Sometimes later, sometime later, but right now I'm just gonna leave it and either put eyeshadow on it or part it in a certain way because I didn't over bleach the entire frontal. Like you can see in the back and stuff, it's perfectly fine, but it's just like in the front. I don't even know how that happened. I was really careful with it, but you know, what can you do? So yeah, but right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the hair and blow dry it and straighten it because although it is like straight textured hair already, it looks like really um, big and almost, I wanna say like slightly wavy, like just a little bit. So what I'm just gonna do is blow dry it and then straighten it. You guys are gonna see me do that and then I'm gonna cut off, cut the extra lace off and then lay my weight down and then do the review. Here you can see me just blowing out the hair and I'm just doing this before I begin straightening it. Once I was done blow drying and then straightening the hair, this is what it looked like. Now I'm cutting off all the excess lace and then after that I just began to glue my wig down using got to be glue. Basically the last thing I did to this wig was take a curling wand and flatten down the part in my hair and then cut some baby hairs and then lay those down with Eco Styler Gel. And so yeah, the only things I really did to this hair is first I washed it after getting it out of the package and then after I washed it, um, I bleached the knots on the frontal and then I rewashed and like shampooed the frontal. And then I took the hair and I sewed it onto a wig cap. And then I straightened the hair, I blow dried the hair and then straightened the hair. And then I basically just installed it on my head. I didn't even pluck the frontal or anything. Like the way you see it right now is pretty much the way that it came, except for it was like the knots weren't bleached before. But other than that, exactly how it came. So when I first received the hair, um, the hair was really, really, silky and straight it reminded me of like doll hair like not even like the texture of it like it felt fake it was just like so silky and like 
fine. It just reminded me of like an American Girl doll hair, but the hair did feel like natural, like virgin hair. It didn't feel like synthetic hair at all. It did have a weird smell. I don't even really know how to describe it. It smelled like a factory. Like if you can think of what a factory smells like, that's what the hair smelled like when I got it. But that's probably where it was and that's why I had that smell. But I just washed it and it's fine now. Like if you had just installed the hair or did like turn it into a wig without washing it, you'd be fine. But it's just like, you never really know where hair you're ordering is coming from. So you know, might wanna wash it just for your sake cause it is going like on your head. And shedding is something that I experienced somewhat with this hair. Like it wasn't like an excessive amount of shedding or anything like that, but I did get minimum shedding. Um, honestly, I think it's just because I cut the wefts as I was sewing the wig and I know a lot of people say, oh, don't cut the wefts on your hair because it'll make the head hair shed faster, blah, blah, blah. But when I'm like constructing my wig, once I get closer to the top, I hate like how it has a bulky look sometimes. Plus this hair is straight, so I just wanted to not have that at all. So in order to do that, I cut the wefts when I got closer to the top instead of like folding them over and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, honestly, I think that's why I'm getting some shedding, but it's not like an excessive amount. So yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you guys the pros and cons to this hair. I'm gonna start with the cons. Um, honestly, I can't think of too many other than the slight amount of shedding, one. And I guess the factory smell. Like there's nothing like I can really complain about with this hair right now. And the pros I have for the hair is it's very, <laughs> it's very pretty. That's a good way to describe it. The hair is very pretty. Like it makes me feel like Nicki Minaj or something. Like the way she looks at her long um, like wigs and long weave she wears, it just makes me feel like that. And this hair is 24 inches, but it looks super long. Like I'm gonna like put clips in so you guys can see how long, how freaking long the hair looks on me. Like it goes all the way down to my butt and it's only 24 inches and then a 20 inch frontal. And I'm 5'2", so it might have a little bit to do with my height, but at the same time, I don't know. Like, I have a 28 when I have a 28 inch wig, and it reaches to about the same length. So maybe the hair is actually longer than the inches they told me. I don't really know. I didn't like go get a measuring stick and measure it. So yeah, the hair is very pretty. One, two um the frontal is beautiful like it does not need any like manipulation at all if you do want to pluck it for a more natural look you can but honestly like it looks so natural already i don't even think plucking is necessary unless you want to do like an updo or something and you want it to look really sleek but honestly right now like the frontal is very natural so i really appreciate that um another thing i like with the hair is the texture like it feels like after you wash it and stuff like that, it still feels like very straight silky hair, but it's not like um, too, too silky, like to the point where it feels like doll hair. But after washing it and dry it, it just feels like, I don't know, like it feels like, I don't know, this it, I don't know how to describe it, but I just love the texture of the hair. It's straight, but it also has a lot of volume and body. Um, and I didn't even use all four bundles. Like I used up for like three and a half bundles, honestly. That's about how much I use. And I was like doubling the layers. But honestly, if you're gonna get this hair and you're gonna turn it into a wig or you're gonna do an install, whatever, honestly, you should use, you can use three bundles and get away with that and be perfectly fine. It just depends on the look you want. And I also just have a really big head. Like the wig cap I used was an extra large wig cap because my dome is just ginormous. And I would recommend this hair to anybody who wants, you know, some beautiful straight hair. Um, even though I didn't actually pay for this hair and it was sent to me, the prices that they have are pretty inexpensive. And I probably would have considered buying from them on AliExpress if I wasn't sent their hair. But you know, I was lucky enough to get it sent to me. So yeah, but I do recommend this hair to anybody who wants some beautiful, um, pretty <laughs> um, full of life bouncy voluminous straight hair thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it make sure you give it a huge thumbs up and comment down below and i will see you guys later with another video bye Rock Cartier, chew on the mic like a mic buffet this ain't what you want but i got what you need take money fine in them apple bottom jeans